Hi guys, welcome back to my XUS video. Now I'm gonna talk about the banner which is gonna come on this week, Sipa Lastwell and Alexander Charlotte. But before begin, I really want to say sorry for you who have watched my previous video. Okay, it's already been deleted right now. But on that video, I say that Sacred Child Charlotte is magic tank. So really guys, I'm not sure why I I misread her being magic tank, okay? Really, really sorry. You can, yeah, leave dislike or whatever, but I really want to say sorry so much. So let's begin from Mystical Ice Last Well. Okay, so Mystical Ice Last Well on Japan was weaker than Infernal Fire Rain. But like you can see that on the global, Gumi gives him global upgrade. So it's possible that he will become on par or even more powerful than Infernal Fire Rain because yeah, you have seen what they have done to Tifa Adventure Learn version. So I cannot say about how powerful he is. What I can say is what he does. So he is basically a true double hand absolute mirror of equity chainer. So yes, he is the same like Supreme Defa Akstar. Okay, katana user. And for element, he use ice and wind element. So in this department, I must say Supreme Defa Akstar is better because if I remember correctly, he can imbue three elements instead of two, okay? This is really important because remember, they are true double hand character. And the strange thing about this Seafall as well is he has 75% Dragon Killer. And from what I have checked, Sifa doesn't have Dragon Killer. So it's kind of forced addition to this character. Yes, it is nice. Okay, I must admit it though. Okay, and for the Trustmaster reward, I must say it is pretty decent. Okay. It gives you high attack boost 48 and the best part is it increase your attack by 30% when equipped katana. So this is really good uh, hat for katana user, especially for mystical ice last well to improve his attack stats. Because like you know that true double hand characters only able to equip one weapon so they have a little tougher time to increase their stats compared to true dual wield. So an equipment like this, which increase your attack boost is really welcome for true double hand characters. Okay, but probably if you use last well, I think you won't use Sifa as your Esper. Okay, because yes, Sifa is not a good Esper for physical DPS that will make him waste bonus Esper stats from Sifa. But that's just my suggestion. Okay, you can still use Sifa if you want. And that's it for Sifa as well. Now let's talk about Alexander Charlotte. So for Alexander Charlotte, C is a physical tank. So again, really sorry for previous video. I call her magic tank. Maybe it's just because suggestion of Sacred Shield Charlotte being a magic tank so even after i read the word on xvs wiki i still read that as magic tank so again really sorry so let's get to the point so as a physical tank i must say c is also good pretty amazing okay and the bad news is c has a competition so on the previous video being absolute mirror of equity is huge plus but because in reality, she is a physical tank, having absolute mirror of equity may be not that special. It is still good for chaining with Riku from Final Fantasy X2, but the point here is there is already physical tank who able to chain with absolute mirror of equity, and that is Galoof. Okay, but still, Charlotte is still very powerful tank because she has super entrust I call this this entrust can be dual cast with her other abilities so you can tank and entrust your limit burst gauge 
to other character. That's really good because for limit burst, she only need 22 LB crystals. Okay, so if you have, uh, let's say 150, 200% fast LB fuel rate, it is really easy to fill her LB to full. Okay, that way on the next turn, you can provoke and give your LB to other characters and do many other combination. Really nice ability. And I must say she is also kind of like awakened warrior of luck because she also able to cast you barrier. It is 2000 and it is spammable. So I must say, yes, it is pretty decent. But again, warrior of luck is still better in terms of barrier because his LB is simply superb. Okay. But for LB, I must say her LB being a physical tank, it is really special because she is the only character who has this combination AOE physical cover plus 50% damage mitigation on her LB. Correct me if I'm wrong, okay? But yes, what I can remember Awakened Warrior of Light is barrier plus defense and 50% and no no doesn't have mitigation compared to Alphonse Alphonse is barrier defense spirit buff so basically yes it is like her sacred shield version it is AOE plus mitigation this is really good guys you may say why because usually you need to recast your AO protection and damage mitigation at the same time when the enemy dispel your buff okay so if you don't have this kind of combination then you will struggling okay you need that aoe protection but because you don't have damage mitigation then your tank probably gonna die and on the next turn it will be repeated because they don't have the damage mitigation they will die unless of course you have another characters who have access to 50% damage mitigation. But yes, I must say this LB is really good. Okay, and for Trust Master Reward, I must say it is also very good. Okay, 30% defense spirit plus 40% light resist and 20% health. So, whoa, really, really lots of boost we get here. And because most of Tankers gonna equip heavy shield then this is really good for tank Okay, really nice trust mastery word, but for STMR I still prefer will helm STMR compared to this Okay, this is good, but the side effect is 30% damage mitigation I don't think that's really important because you usually always cast it Every time on the battle and refresh it when it is off okay so it's kind of waste effect okay so enough about those all now the final question should you summon the answer is still the same like wrong video yes okay especially if you don't have aoe physical tank okay let's say you still use wilhelm then whoa pulling this gonna be really good for you okay but again physical tank is not like magic tank you actually can cheat your physical tank a little bit on some battles by making them have 100% uh, efficient so if you able to do that on certain battle then having this charlotte won't matter at all because you can efficient except maybe 50% damage mitigation Okay, but let's say if your tank is still Galoof, then maybe you don't need Sacred Chill Charlotte, okay, or Awakened Warrior of Light. But if you are newbie players, then make sure you don't miss this banner because it is really good physical tank, okay? And I'm not sure she will be dethroned by anyone except for global exclusive physical tank, okay? So really good tank, okay? If you miss Awakened Warrior of Life, Galoof, then don't miss her at this point, okay? 
Maybe you can try to snipe her using ticket and use your UOC to buy her prism. That way you can save your lapis. I know you you guys have burned out your lapis. So yeah, let's use ticket and hope for the best. Maybe if you have done that. And for Sifo as well, I really cannot say anything about him. But I'm pretty sure you have pulled... Yeah, most of you have pulled Final Fantasy 7 Advanced Children. So maybe you don't need another DPS. Okay, but if you simply want to collect him, I still cannot recommend you. Unless of course you are Whale or Dolphin. Okay, for free to play, your best bet on this banner is Sacred Shield Charlotte. You can do the step up, okay, 25,000 or or 12,000, okay? It is all up to you, but yeah, after looking on the 25,000, you will get ticket on the last step, but it's, I believe it is 50-50. You cannot pick or whatever, okay, I'm not sure about the system, but if you able to get one, then I suggest you to buy the prism using UOC, not gonna spend your lapis, okay, because we in the future are gonna need that lapis for new fission unit and i think yes lapis is getting more precious again more precious than uoc in my opinion so yeah, i think that's all you need to know about this charlotte banner again guys really really sorry okay and i really thank you for a player who yeah, my subscriber who leave a comment with copy paste info from XVSVQ. That really opens my eyes, guys, okay? Because because before that guy post that comment, I I checked the wiki. Trust me, guys. Trust me. I have checked the wiki multiple times, but somehow I still read it magic. Really, guys, really really sorry. So, thanks to that person I forgot your name, really, really sorry, okay? So, yep, thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Prep X Guide. Bye-bye, guys.